Okay, so quick introduction. My name is Greg Grahola, and I'm developing and potentially commercializing a 9 bar 58 millimeter lever action espresso maker. Been working on it for about a year now, really happy with it. I'm just about to do a public reveal. However, before I do that, I thought I might do this trivial but hopefully fun little competition. So there will be a couple of hint videos. This is the first. Your job is to guess how the espresso maker works its main components and structure. Now I can't say more than that because I might give it away. Closest the most accurate guest as judged by myself will win a unit. Then we'll do a second video with more hints and you'll get a chance to win a second unit. Of course, needless to say, this competition is only valid if the unit actually gets manufactured and is commercialized. So this first hint video is a shot comparison between the Pullman and the Wafo baskets, which we have installed in the J-Lever. And we're going to be doing some shot reading because the J-Lever is, of course, a bottom to upflow espresso maker where you get to view your shot as it happens in front of you. Now, there were a number of reasons why I chose to invent around this style of making espresso, but one of the reasons is the recognition that good espresso is all about putt preparation and extraction characteristics. So in this first shot on the Pullman, we're really kind of paying attention to the fill pattern across the face of the basket, as this will govern the quality of the shot. Almost invariably, the areas of the basket that fill first will have the higher flow rates throughout the shot, and this will only accelerate as ultrafines and solutes are evacuated. You can see the face of the basket fills quite evenly. Slightly to the top right, you can see a couple of small water channels to the bottom left of center. They do go away and there's a calm surface as you pull your shot. Channeling will create subsurface spraying of that nature and a generally disturbed surface, so that's what you're looking for. One of the best things about lever machines is you can decrease the pressure if you see that kind of channeling and recover your shot, which would otherwise be sour if you allowed that kind of channeling at high pressure. Now you're also looking for any kind of bulk horizontal flow of the tiger striving pattern across the surface, as this may indicate that one side of the puck is extracting more than the other. Maybe you've tamped slightly off horizontal, but it looks like a good shot, lots of crema. This coffee is about a month off roast, so lots of CO2 still. Of course, the fresher your coffee is, the more crema you're going to get. Now onto the Wafo shot. Again, you're looking for uh, the fill pattern across the surface of the basket. We see a bit of ringing at the start. That's only because water shoots down the side of the basket at low pressure during pre-infusion. That gets cut off as pressure ramps up. It's nothing really to worry about. Slightly biased towards the top right, you can see this kind of bulk movement fines towards the bottom left. So there is a slight imbalance in the shot. I think I must have tamped or distributed incorrectly. You can see a ton of ultra fines with the with the wafer basket. It does have 3,000 or so holes, so you kind of expect that. You never really get to see the type of spray channeling that you get with traditional baskets on the wafer, quite possibly because of the slow flow rate for any one particular hole. You don't get these kinds of blow through spray effects. Now notice those large bubbles you can see coming up. I'll talk about that at some stage. There is a physical reason for that. It's quite interesting for those academically minded. Lots of crema, maybe more than a Pullman. Crema is darker, no doubt due to the large amount of fines. Haven't really decided which basket we want to go with. We might just give people a choice on Kickstarter. The Wafer basket is a really expensive basket. And we're still evaluating it, as well as the Weber Workshop basket. One thing about these baskets is they are more difficult to clean than traditional baskets. So that's something to consider. Now this next video is the puck extraction. Probably the most revealing part of this hint video. Puck is quite hot, but it is dry to the touch. And uh, you can see the retainer plate there. But that is pretty much it. That is all the hints you've got to get for now, I'm sorry to say. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Please subscribe and follow us on our journey. This espresso maker will probably have a Kickstarter campaign at some stage. So have a go. Have a go at trying to guess how this thing works and the structure of it. You might win a unit. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.